Hi, welcome to the uh, small tutorial <laughs> how to install uh, the G2D uh, gimbal, the plastic gimbal for your Flying 3D X8. So uh, basically, um, when you receive your gimbal, uh, uh, you have such kind of mount. Okay, personally, I bought another one because I've got a second Flying 3D X8, so uh, I want to install just the uh, gimbal port okay so basically uh, only this plastic part I've got in hand uh, associated with these uh, items will be installed on your uh, flying 3D X8 permanently so it's very light so it's not a problem and after it's very easy to remove to reinstall your gimbal so uh, what you will need to install well first you have to take some precautions so basically if you are uh, vigilant and if you look closely inside the X8, what you want to avoid that any screw when you will screw the the plastic mount will be um, in contact with the battery. Uh, so you don't need a very long screw. Uh, the format of the screw you will need it's uh, are uh, two dot five millimeters of diameters. So, okay. So personally, I will use um, this uh, small uh, material. So um, I will have, uh, I will use uh, this uh, two dot uh, five millimeters by fourteen millimeters long uh, screws, okay. As well, uh, two uh, uh, tiny space spacer, okay, okay, and a washer, and two uh, nylon nuts in two dot five. Uh, is there are the M three, so it's okay. So it's larger than the uh, screw. Um, the idea is is to uh, gain uh, two millimeters or maybe three uh, the eight of the 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 nuts to uh, not uh, uh, to avoid any contact at the end uh, of the screw with the battery mount so you will I will gain something like two dot five millimeters in eight okay so you can use maybe directly some um, screw with uh, two dot five millimeters by twelve or 10 is too short, 12 should be okay. So, um, how to install this plastic part? You have to take your gimbal, uh, your gimbal mount, and basically uh, the front will be here, okay? So you will need to use this screw there on top, okay? This one here. You will need to use this uh, screw hole here and uh, this one, okay? So basically, you will attach the gimbal mounts like this. Okay, uh, if I can make a small close up there. Okay, so the front of the gimbal mount is like this. Okay, and you will need to install like this. So uh, the good news, uh, you have already a knoll uh, already matching on for the front, but the bad news for here, uh, the hole are not matching with the actual current hole here. So you will need to drill a small, small hole here in the plastic to be able to uh, uh, drill to screw here on the second back part of the uh, of the flying 3D X8. So it's what I will do. So the first step I will do is to drill a small hole here. Okay, uh, approximately, if I can take some measure. Okay. I can take some measure. The uh, hole to drill will be approximately to uh, the, uh, the, you, the hole is in the middle of these two ones, so you can have a reference. Something like this. And if I can put, okay, so the hole is just to the left of this small plastic circle here. So it should be around like this. Okay, and you have to drill uh, this hole. Okay, I'm using a screwdriver to drill, but it's not very efficient. I'm lazy to take my driller. It'll take a few seconds to drill. So as you can see, I'm just on the left part of this uh, small plastic circle. So I will drill. We take just a few seconds to drill this hole, and after 
um, I will be able to uh, insert to attach Okay, it's already uh, drill. So now I will be able to insert the um, the um, second screw for attaching the gimbal. So as you can see, I finished to enlarge the hole by pre-inserting the this, the uh, M2.5 screw. Okay. So as you can see, it's exiting. So um, the next steps to do is to um, insert the uh, plastic uh, nylon uh, nuts. Okay, and the uh, spacer for both uh, system. And after to insert in the flying in the X8. It will be the more a tricky part to do. So I will do the same with this uh, screw there. Of course, it's already drilled, so it's much more easier. Pre insert the nut. And the screw and the washer. Okay, so with this system, uh, you we, you can only insert this maximum weight into the your flying X8. So the rear uh, screw you are, you don't have to screw too tight, too much. But at least you only insert something like three or four millimeter in, into your flying X8. So as you can see, I already start to insert the the rear screw and start to now to mount the second. Okay. So you have to be aware and gently screw the stuff. So if everything is okay, you have nothing appearing in the battery bay so it's perfectly fit so now the gimbal port is installed don't tie too much okay it's inserted okay so it's perfectly eventually you can insert a small piece of foam here to absorb any vibration, so now we install the gimbal. Okay, here is my uh, GDD gimbal modified for the Mobius. Um, if you remember well, I inverted the NS uh, sensors, and uh, well, I also tuned a little bit the uh, actual PID. If I, it's not really PID, but the value. So, in order to uh, remove completely the high frequency vibrations uh, still remaining. Uh, to tune that, uh, you have to press this button, the uh, function more than three seconds, and after um, it will flash fast. Press only once, and you will enter in the um, pitch uh, tuning. Okay, so I uh, I increase uh, the value of the uh, 
V2, okay, so I don't know, it's probably the output power, uh, not sure of the uh, gain, one of them, but this is one I increase a bit and it's the, the vibration uh, left completely. So how to insert uh, in the GDD now, it's pretty easy. You just need to uh, slide uh, the gimbal like this. And after you have to insert the uh, connector, the battery connector. So be aware the plus is on the bottom part. So and you have to uh, to um, be on the completely um, left uh, row uh, columns sensor. Okay, like this. So the plus in the, the bottom. Be aware. So now it's inserted. It's uh, efficient. So if I, uh, for example, make a small test. Okay, I use this uh, gimbal. This okay, I will insert the battery like this. I can perfectly insert the lipo. The screws are not uh, are not um, okay. I, will. I didn't install yet the fit, but it should be okay. Okay, so I powered the gimbal, as you can see, it's working well. So, no vibration. Okay. So, working well. Well, maybe in a very high pitch there are some small vibration, but it's okay. It's not for normal behavior. Very efficient, so quite satisfied. Thank you for watching.